Hi, I'm Peter from Ideal Security. Today we're going to show you how to replace all the parts on your garage door, from the bottom bracket to the extension spring. Garage door springs come in a variety of strengths, and picking the right one depends on the weight of your door. Generally, they're color-coded for easy identification. Here you can see we have four different springs, for door weights ranging from 120 pounds to 180 pounds. Note that the ends of each spring are colored, green for the lightest and orange for the heaviest. Some other companies use blue for both their 90 pound and 140 pound springs. If your existing springs are blue, it's a good idea to double check either your door weight or the spring diameter. Take a look at your existing springs. If they are color coded, make sure you replace them with springs of the same color. If your springs are old, the color may have faded or worn off and be difficult to identify. In this case, you can measure your spring's diameter or weigh your door using a regular bathroom scale. You'll need to disconnect the springs though to make sure you're getting the full weight of the door on the scale. Based on the color of your springs and the weight of your door, identify the springs you need from this chart. Now that we're sure you've got the right springs, we're ready to move on to the installation. We're going to need the following basic tools. Two vice grips or locking pliers to keep the garage door open, tape to mark existing connection points, socket wrenches for the axle bolts, a Phillips head screwdriver. Let's also review the terminology for some of the parts you're going to need to identify. Hanger bar. The vertical bar is supporting the garage door track from the ceiling. The stationary pulley is attached to the front hanger bar. The spring pulley is attached to the spring by the U-bracket with axle bolt which are included in all Ideal pulley packages. Ideal offers 3-inch and 4-inch replacement pulleys, each of which can be used in both the stationary and spring positions. Replace your current pulleys with the same size. The attachment hook connects the spring to the rear hanger bar. Slotted angle bracket. This is the bar that the S-hook, extension cable and safety cable connect to. The S-hook and cable length adjusting plate are attached to the extension cable. This is the cable that lifts the garage door and runs from the slotted angle bracket around the two pulleys to the bottom bracket on the door. Safety cable. This cable runs through the spring to keep the spring in place and prevent injury in case of the spring breaking. This cable has one larger end and a smaller end with an anchor plate. Before we begin, remember to always work on one side of the garage door at a time before moving on to the other and always wear proper protection. Start by opening the garage door completely to remove all the tension from the springs. Securely block the door in this open position. You can do this using vice grips on the tracks below the bottom rollers or by placing a step ladder underneath the garage door. Next, unplug or disengage the electric door opener. Disengaging the opener is usually easier. Start by releasing all the tension from the system by unhooking the S-hook at the end of the extension cable from the slotted angle bracket. Make sure to mark the hole used by the S-hook for future reference. Remove the spring pulley by undoing the axle bolt. If your pulley doesn't turn freely, it could be binding due to grease or just being worn out, and it may be time to replace it. It's a good idea to tape the cable to the pulley right now to help you remember the proper configuration later. Remove the other end of the spring from the attachment hook, which is bolted to the back hanger bar. Disconnect the safety cable at the front and feed it through the spring, and remove the safety cable from the rear hanger bar. If you're replacing the stationary pulley, you can now remove it, and install your new SK7113 or SK7114 pulley. Make sure to properly secure the axle bolt. If you're replacing the extension cable or bottom bracket, remove the extension cable now from the bottom bracket. With the extension cable removed, you can now remove and replace the bottom bracket with Ideal's SK7130. Reinstall the extension cable or install a new SK7112 by sliding the attachment loop onto the bottom bracket and then pass the cable over the stationary pulley. Start by installing the new SK7136 safety cable. Loop the larger end of the cable around the back hanger bar, just above the spring attachment hook. Pass the end of the safety cable with the anchor plate through the eye at the large end of the cable until the cable is secured snugly around the hanger bar. 
past the free end of the cable with the anchor plate through the extension spring. Slide the spring along the safety cable and hook the end of the spring to the attachment hook on the rear hanger bar. Attach the safety cable anchor plate to the slotted angle bracket. The attachment point should be as close to the stationary pulley as possible, so that it doesn't interfere with the spring or extension cable. If you're installing a new extension cable, thread the opening end of the cable through the adjustment plate and knot it, like this. Pass the U bracket from the spring pulley through the eye on the extension spring. Thread the extension cable onto the spring pulley, the same way it was before. Ensure the cable isn't twisted, and fasten the spring pulley to the U bracket with the axle bolt. Move to the slotted angle bracket at the front of the door. Pull the extension cable until it's tense, and reattach the S hook to the slotted angle bracket. It's best to start with the same hole it was previously using, but if the new springs are tighter or a different length than your old springs, you may need to use a different hole. With one side done, move on to the other side. Now remove the vice grips and close the door, without re-engaging the automatic opener, to check if it's properly balanced. It should stabilize when you stop pushing it up or pulling it down. If it rises or lowers a little bit, that's okay. If the door opens by itself as soon as you let go, there's too much tension in the system. If the door closes fast when you let go hitting the ground hard, the springs are too loose. In either case, you'll need to adjust the tension. Open the door and secure it in position again. Adjust the tension by moving the S-hook towards the door to increase the tension or away from the door to decrease the tension. You may also have to adjust the cable length by sliding the cable through the cable adjusting plate. Remove the vice grips and test again. You may have to repeat this several times in order to get the tension right. We hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions or doubts, please get in touch with us.